So this is going to be the Gemini Cancer Cusp reading, general energy, um, and love energy as well. From the 1st of March until the 15th of March. The dates for the Gemini Cancer Cusp is somewhere between June the 17th until June the 23rd. This may also resonate with you if you have heavy Gemini and Cancer placements in your chart. I also will be pulling a direct angel answer for you all. So if you have a more direct answer, or I'm sorry, a more direct question in regards to love, please keep it in mind until the end. And hopefully the answer will provide you with the clarity that you need. Also, if you're interested in a personal reading, you can check the description box below where I'll have listed all of my prices, contact information, as well as the spreads that I offer. You also can follow me on Instagram at Insight for daily paper card readings, as well as chances to win free readings. Right, I'm going to go ahead and shuffle this bad boy two more times and then um, go ahead and clarify. But what I'm getting for your general energy is that you're going through a transitional period because you have so many major iconas. Like your base of your general energy is just all major icona. Um, what I'm getting is that there's um, a space that you're going to be in with this within this time of kind of standstill, recentering yourself. Um, I feel like getting closer to spirit with the temperance and the hangman for sure. I feel like you're also trying to get more in touch with the wisdom within or just inner wisdom, the universal wisdom, whatever it is. I'm going to um, clarify and see. And then for your advice, we also have the heavy uh, seven heavenly virtues. So, yeah, this is like some really intense high vibrational connection that you're getting um, into the energy of within this time. Okay, let's see. Just gonna go ahead and clarify it all really fast. Okay, so for your general energy here, we have the Temperance, Ten of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. So I feel like you're regathering yourself, recentering yourself, um, giving yourself the time that you need, um, maybe separating yourself from situations because I feel like um, something came in rather quickly and, and hurt you, I feel like, um, or there was just a bad ending or something that was an inevitable, something that was karmic that ended something so that something new and prosperous can come in. And I think it has something heavily to do with you connecting more with spirit or connecting more with yourself, your inner self. Um, so, you know, the universe put it into something so that you could go ahead and do that. The blessing here is the higher fence with the ace of pentacles and the full card in reverse. So with the full card and this contents, I'm getting like literally the full. I feel like you're coming out of the energy of being the fool or um, kind of just jumping into situations where um, it's caused some, some bad endings for you. I feel like you're getting more connected to your inner self, your beliefs, what your beliefs are, um, maybe even spirit for some. If you're religious and you go to church and things, that's something that you may um, be growing a lot closer to. I feel like whatever God energy you're into connection with, you're going to be connecting with that more and kind of laying your foundation on that instead of um, other things that weren't working out for you. Then we have the hangman, the nine of cups in reverse, and the nine of wands in reverse. So I feel like your focus during this time needs to be, um, you may have to sacrifice some things. Because even this card says sacrifice, and then you have the nine of cups in reverse. So maybe you were kind of a risk taker or someone who moved into things for, um, or like moved I'm kind of feeling like an energy of over um, being overindulgent in something. So um, your focus needs to be um, not moving into things or getting mixed into things where um, you may be overindulgent or just things that may be draining you. You may also be feeling drained from whatever this ending was and moving into something new. So spirit is um, letting you know that now, you know, you could take time 
for yourself. Um, it's important to focus on yourself, get closer to spirit. And um, I feel like, um, you know, lay your guard down a bit or just um, get out of this energy of feeling like you're having to persist through certain situations where, um, you know, the people or the surroundings of whatever you're moving in can be harmful to your existence is what I'm getting. Um, there may be an energy, there's like an energy here of you possibly in the past moving in situations due to the fulfillment, the, the short-term fulfillment that it could provide. But I feel all in all, I feel like it's important to focus on yourself because you're going to get the true answer as to what is going to, you know, fulfill you long-term, not just within the moment type of thing. Um, so yeah. Like I said, this is your advice, seven heavenly virtues. So just stay in higher vibration, stay connected to um, your higher self, your intuition, or whatever you're connecting with during this time. I feel like it's something very high vibrational, so just stay connected to that. So for love energy, person A, we have here the five of pentacles, the king of swords in reverse, and the hierophant in reverse. And then for person B, we have the sacral chakra, the death card, and the three of cups in reverse. So let me look into it a little bit because I didn't see. Mm, okay. Mm, okay. What I'm getting here is that there may have been like some sort of um, offer of love on the table previous to this energy. And it's like some whoever was offering this, I feel like they're kind of shutting that out. Like they're just like, you missed your opportunity. I don't want this anymore. Like, this is not something that I want. And um, there's someone that is still wanting this or their feelings are still involved here. But I think um, in person B with the, the three of cups in reverse, I feel like this person is kind of mingling or interacting with other people. Um, and this could have been why they missed out on the opportunity previously. But I feel like they still want this connection. But person A... It's kind of like, look, I gave you your chance um, to be with me or whatever, whatever, and you didn't take it. So now I don't want this anymore, and I'm cutting this out, and I'm cutting out communication. Um, we got the tower card. So this person, person A, could be... Um, wanting to move away from this connection as well because it came out and it was known that this person was having affairs, whoever person B is, um, or just mingling with other people or not taking this connection too seriously. And I feel like this person B person is um, with the connection here being, we got the judgment card and the judgment card in reverse and then the page of cups. So there's like a back and forth energy of making a decision. Um to maybe give this a chance and not give it a chance but i feel like person b may be um you know sending love messages or apologizing or just certain things and i feel like that's what's keeping you two both connected here give me more energy or clarity on the yeah we got the two of swords the two of swords fell out clarifying the three of cups yeah and then we got the knight of wands so i feel like person b they're up there their emotions are involved in this connection, but I feel like they're not a one person kind of person. Like they like to interact with other people. Um, or it, I feel like it also came out that this person like likes to connect with other people, but I feel like this person still wants you, but they're still, um, you know, connecting with other people. I feel like this person is kind of lustful. They're radiating from um, the sacral chakra. So this is the womb energy closest to the base chakra. Um, yeah, I feel like this person wants to, you know, move into something with you. But I feel like they missed their opportunity here. 
Okay, because yeah, even in the blockage, we have the brawl with the four of cups in reverse and the ace of wands. So there's like a missed opportunity and wanting to transition and move into a new cycle, um, starting possibly even with some sex. I feel like this person, whoever this person be is, um, they're quite sexual or they connect with you more so on an intimate kind of level. Um, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh, don't get mad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay, but I'm feeling like the blockage here is that an opportunity was missed and someone is wanting um, a new, you know, a new start with something. But I feel like it's not happening. And I'm also feeling that even though one person may not want this connection anymore there's an energy of still having trouble closing out this cycle with this person okay so the strength is the ace of swords the three of wands and the eight of swords so i feel like the strength here is that there is going to be communication there may i feel like there's already communication like someone is trying to appease to someone else um trying to offer emotions maybe apologies offer love sending messages, doing certain things. So I feel like this, what's keeping it, you know, together is that there's communication, but I feel like the effort and what this person is communicating um, is yet to come in. And I feel like someone is kind of waiting to see, um, will this come in or not? Give me some more clarity on the person ace for me with the five of pentacles. Cause it seems like this person is just kind of like really stern, like I don't want this, but that's not what the energy surrounding it is really indicating. I feel like this person wants to be done um, and they want to isolate and leave this in the cold. Give me some more energy on person A's feelings. Um, but I feel like there's an energy of just feeling trapped. Like I feel like there's a lot of talking and no action. Like someone is like, you know, I want to be with you, blah, 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 blah. And there's like an energy of still being trapped. Yeah, we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse for person A's feeling. So I feel like they're not moving forward at all. But give me some more energy for them. And then we got the Temperance card. So I feel like this person is just recentering themselves. This could be you, Gemini Cancer, um, where you're in the energy of rebalancing yourself, taking some time to heal and to ground and having patience before you move forward. So I feel like you're not all the way moving forward and you're kind of isolating yourself and your energy from this person, even though you may be giving them some of your energy um, and speaking to them. Yeah, we got the Magician card and the Ten of Cups in reverse. So just feel like you may feel like either this person is manipulative or you're just an energy right now where you're trying to regather yourself so you don't have the energy to really put into this relationship to really see if it can become something right now that's kind of like where your energy is right now um so yeah there's like some being stuck and whatever is being communicated to the other so give me some more um Give me some more clarity on the outcome here. So for the outcome, we have the Empress, the Two of Cups, and the Ace of Swords in reverse. So give me some more clarity. What I'm seeing as the outcome between this time is that there's some allowing of this partner to come back in. You may be reconciling with them or you, yeah, six of cups. I feel like there's going to be a reconciliation and you two coming back together in some kind of way. But I feel like it's based off of deception. I feel like someone here is not being all the way honest with their intentions and how they're wanting this relationship to work. And I feel like um, it's... Like, you're still going to be hurt. Like, you're going to get back into this connection, but someone in this connection is still going to be hurt. And there's going to be a pause on their healing here due to getting back um, together with this. But I do see some sort of prosperity and abundance coming from um, reconciling at this time. Now, let's see what this... Okay, so we got opportunity knocks. It says go for it. And we have the world in reverse as your advice. Um... 
Yeah, I feel like something is just not coming to a completion. And with this being, with the world card literally being the blockage between you two, I feel like there's a need to cycle out. Even if you, um, you know, take some time to heal and then you decide later on, like, okay, I choose this person and this is who I want to be with. Um, give me one more card on the advice so I can be more clear for them. What is their advice? We got to this love situation. One card, please. One more clarifier. I gotta hurry up because my phone clock's there. Okay, so we have the Seven of Swords in reverse and the Six of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like you shouldn't give to this situation um, or only give what is given back to you because I feel like this person, whoever you're dealing with, or if this is you being this way, I feel like this person is in it to get what they want. And once they get what they want, which is something that is temporary, then they leave. That's it. So there is re reconciliation, but I feel like this person has the best intentions for you. Okay? So let's see. What is the angel answer? What's the angel answer for the Taurus Gemini cusp? Please thank you. Or I'm sorry. This is for the Cancer Gemini cusp. I knew that. Okay. I have to hurry up because my phone is about to die. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't die. Okay, so you got recovery. Okay, so this is your answer. This talks about healing, recovering um, from a certain situation. As you can see, it's a girl. She's sitting, she's meditating, and there's an angel behind her. So um, getting back in touch with self, getting back in touch with spirit. Yeah. Um, I hope that this reading resonated for you. You can check your moon and your rising sign as well if it did not. Um, you also can book a personal reading with me. All the information for how to get in contact with me my prices and everything are in the description box below if you are not subscribed please do subscribe thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you next time